What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, Boogie2988 coming at you live once again through the power of the internet. And one thing I get accused of a lot is being a fat enabler. Now what they're trying to say is that I encourage other people to be fat and I even encourage other people to be okay with being fat. But the truly horrendous thing that I do is I try to encourage other people from judging fat people and allowing them to go on about their lives unharmed. Now this seems crazy because if you know me at all, you know I have a very singular message when it comes to being overweight. Don't be. Learn from my mistakes. Don't end up in the unbearable amount of pain and discomfort I'm in every day. If you're overweight, you're impacting your health and you need to do your best to try to be as healthy as humanly possible. Please do it for me, if not yourself. However, even if you decide to dedicate yourself to losing weight today, you're probably going to be fat for quite some time in the future, and you need to love yourself. And, and I don't care if you're, you're big or you're small, if you're short or you're tall, if you're black or white, gay or straight, male or female, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. You got to learn to love yourself and, and I got to tell you no matter what your imperfections are other people should love you too and these people that are accusing me of being a fat enabler they hate that message because they hate everything they hate me they hate you they hate themselves and and, and they harass me to no end on a daily basis but on my worst day I guarantee the harassment I get is in a fraction of what Tess Holiday gets now, if you don't know who Tess Holiday is, I understand, but this is her pictured. Uh, she is a size 24 model. Yes, that's right, model. She's been working as a style guru and a fashion model for the last five years, and the amount of hate this woman gets is immeasurable. Tess is considered the ultimate fat enabler because she supposedly glorifies being fat by being in these pictures and being on the runway, and, and that would encourage other women to be fat, and, and that's the worst thing that could ever happen, right? And they say the same thing about me, by the way. They say, because I dare to put videos out there that encourage people to empathize with overweight people, I am just as bad as her. Now, me and Tess do disagree on one really big point. You'll never hear her actively encouraging the women that look up to her to lose weight. And that's a sticking point for me because I'm always going to tell the people that look up to me to be healthy. Tess doesn't do that, but I'd rather focus on what we have in common. We've both been very large from a very young age, and we've always been big. It's impacted our lives both physically, mentally, and socially. We've both had to fight hard to overcome it, and we've both found success in our chosen fields. But let me tell you something, though. One of us is way more successful than the other. It's... it's it's her. But the truly important thing that I have in common with Tess is the message that you have to love yourself. No matter who or what you are, you have to stand up and let the world love you. And if you do, you're going to draw haters and they're going to hate you for standing up for what you believe in and what you are. But Fuck them. And I definitely have my haters. Whenever I create a video, hundreds of you flock to the comments or to my Twitter or to Reddit to tell me what a fat, worthless piece of shit I am. But when Tess has the audacity to upload a picture to her Tumblr, she is met with a deluge of hate that would drown even someone as stout as me. And I can't help but wonder why it is she receives such a much more intense backlash than I ever will. Maybe it's because she's way more famous, but really percentage of people that hate her is way higher for her than it is for me. Then I think it's because she's not actively encouraging people to lose weight the way I do, but she's not actively encouraging anybody to gain weight either, so I, I can't think that's it. But I think I have it figured out. I think it has a lot to do with the job that she does. Now look what I do on YouTube. I sit here and I vlog all day. I play video games and I talk about them and I, I look the part. You put a fedora on me and I look exactly the way I'm supposed to look. Tess, however, is a female model and whether we're willing to admit it or not, we have a very specific idea of what a female model is supposed to look like. For those of you keeping score at home, I believe the current ideal model is about five foot two, 
28 pounds, and half that weight has to be pure tit flesh. Tess does not look like the ideal model or relatively anything close to it, but what's the big deal? Some very stupid people get it into their head that because Tess Holiday now exists, that's some sort of okay sign to make clothes for fat people or to allow fat people to exist. But remember, Tess is a model, and a model is a person who works in marketing to sell clothes, and clearly there has to be someone to sell plus-size clothing too. Truth is, the world is getting fatter, and no one knows why, and it is a crisis that must be dealt with, but during this process... Fat people are going to need clothes too, and these people are smart enough to make them and sell them to us. And I know that some of the meaner ones of you out there think we're fat, unhuman scum and that we don't deserve any joy in our lives, but certainly, certainly you wouldn't deny us rags to cover ourselves with, would you? Trust me, you, you do not want to see this naked. Look, you, you hate fat people, and you hate the fact that people are getting fatter and living fat lives, and, and I get that. But at the end of the day, Tess Holiday, or to a lesser extent me, we're not the cause of it. If anything, we're just a symptom of the problem. Even though I believe we should use our platforms to encourage people to be as healthy as humanly possible, me and Tess do agree that it's way more important to encourage people to love themselves for who and what they are and the fact that Tess uses her megaphone in this world to say that makes me love her so very, very much. The fact that Tess is living proof that no matter who or what you are, you can overcome any of the obstacles that are in your way to make your dreams come true makes her a superhero in my book. And it breaks my fucking heart that to so many of you out there, she's just some fat girl trying to be something she's not. But man, what do I know? I'm probably fairly biased on this situation. I'd love to hear what you think. Um, I hope you read up a little bit about her. I think she's a fantastic person. And even though we disagree on some fairly important points, I, I think her overall message is very, very positive, And I love her for it. Tess, keep up the great work. And to the rest of you, including Tess, actually, please try to lead healthy, happy lives. Uh, learn from my mistakes. Do better. Just do better. All right? I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll, um, I'll speak with you again soon.